What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, is this the best video editor of 2021 out of all the versions of any other software that we've seen, such as After Effects, Premiere Pro, Vegas Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Filmora, and all the other softwares that I've taken so far onto the channel with like walkthroughs and make certain videos. So of course, this video is brought to you by iMyPhone Filmy Video Editor. Let's go ahead and dive into this software and see what it can do because I've never showed you guys a program like this before ever on the channel. See so if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And I would say, let's explore this video editor of course, right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in I am my phone filmy video editor. So of course, like every video editor, this has like the same kind of style of like a UI or like a user interface, meaning that we have our timeline at the very bottom where we can, of course, drag in all the clips where we're going to do the cutting, the music, the color grading and all that. Above that, we of course have the video preview, meaning that we will see everything that we have done in our timeline to make that as our final result. Just like other softwares, we have this media tab right here on the very left where we can import our files when we drag in the music sound effects everything that you want to use and on the right we have a settings button so of course we're going to start off by actually importing some footage so i can show you guys exactly how to get started okay so in order to import some footage we're going to right click on this menu where it says import media and apply it to multiple projects and now we can go ahead and get started and select our footage i inserted a photo of myself which is ungraded just straightly from the camera so then when you import your files on the very top left you will see it on your media bin and we're going to drag that into our timeline right here on the top track okay so right here this is just a photo so if you want to zoom in into your actual timeline what you can do is you can click on this little icon on the very left which is the plus icon which allows us of course as you can see to zoom in our timeline and be more specific so right now it's a lot bigger and it's a lot easier to work in okay so now what we do is right here we have a play button but if you just press on space bar right here we can just stop and play or preview and if he's going to stop it's not going to jump back to to the beginning like Vegas Pro would do, but it's just gonna stop in the middle of the timeline. So it's a really cool thing. And you can also drag this clip around as you can see in the timeline, if you wanna have a little bit of black first, for example, with like a transition, I'm just gonna get into in just a second. So this is how you can import videos and photos and all that into your timeline. So what's very cool is on the left, we have a couple icons. So the top one is of course to mute your track. So if I click on that, the preview turns black and my photo gets kind of grayed out in our timeline. The one below that is a little lock icon. So if you click on there, you will actually lock your entire track so if you drag on and if you click for example right here you will not be able to move anything you are still able to play back your preview as you can see but the track is entirely locked so if you want to unlock it just click on that icon and then these lines as well as you can see it will appear and disappear depending if you're locking it or unlocking it above the timeline you will see like how far you are into the video so if you click right here this is just three seconds that we are into our timeline so let's start grading our clip so it actually looks a little bit better so the first icon at the very top is of course this one where we have C all the filters so obviously we also have like stickers that we can have on here holiday we have this one we have emojis icons overlays travel badges anything that we like we can overlay onto our video but let's go to filters that's of course a type of color grading that we can apply onto the video so now if i drag this guy onto a video as you can see it actually grades our video quite well because it kind of fits so if you press ctrl z by the way that's just undoing what you just did so if i drag this one on it kind of suits because of course like the red background and the orange sunset behind me is kind of fitting this red filter but of course we have many different ones this one is a little bit too dark i don't think this one is not is gonna i don't think this one is will be usable because if i drag on it it's just basically gonna invert the clip so if we're gonna drag on for example a glow one that makes it really really nice and glowy we have of course a kind of black and white one we have the brightness that we can bring up we have this one as well, the purple one. We have all kinds of different presets. For example, this one, which really, really amplifies the colors. And it's just really, really handy to just go and and amplify these colors. Add in like this vignette if you want to. You can even like rotate it. And it's just really, really handy to just apply all these filters. Well, not all of them, but just to have a little bit more choice between these filters and see which one looks the best on your footage. Because of course, this camera is a black magic camera. It's quite plain and it does need quite some color grading. So I think this one, which 
amplifies the colors looks really really nice if you double click on your clip or you just want to click on this icon right here at the top it will also bring you like the settings of that filter so if you want to drag up the brightness just a little bit that's how you can do it you can also mess with the white balance make it a little bit more warm make it a little bit more colder as you can see like that it's a very handy menu on the very right that you can just scale it also as well if you want to to get rid of black bars or anything like that like this and just mess around with like the rotation if you want to and just the color balance or anything in general that you want to apply onto your video okay so if you move on to the holidays one it takes a little while to download but once it's finished right now we have these really really cool stickers that you can overlay on your actual video so if you're on the left you can just click on these three bars where you can add in a video track and then you can overlay for example this new year's one as you can see because it's nice and transparent and that's how you can also get these overlays onto your videos along with stickers and very other various things that you really can make your videos a lot more cool and a lot more eye-catching as well because that is how simple it is with like the stickers and all that so of course overlaying things and color grading is pretty self-explanatory because of course you guys will be able to navigate through the actual menu on the very left at the top so that's how you guys can do it and add in like these overlays so let's go ahead and download for example the stars one and let's just give it a few seconds to download all right so i downloaded just these stars and if i overlay them on the video this is what it looks like it's really really cool if you want to have some sort of overlay or like this twinkling effect with some sound effects that's a really good way that you can also create this one with these overlays and that you can just download it just takes a couple seconds depending on like your internet speed so with that all the way so let's go ahead and see what the sh actual shortcuts are in this program to cut split all right guys so in order to figure out what the sh actual shortcuts are you want to basically right click on your clip or anything else in your timeline to see what it is doing so right here it says cut which is control x we have copy which is of course and like in every single software it is control c and pasting is control v but then right here it is very important that we have a edit one which is control e and to delete is delete of course on the keyboard and to split it is alt s i just inserted a actual video of mine which is like playing some guitar so pressing Alt S on your keyboard right here is of course going to make it split. As you can see, we now have a nice gap. And if I click on here, for example, right here on the timeline, if I press Alt S again, right here, we have a nice different cut. That's how we can like clip up your videos and make jump cuts and, you know, replace parts where it needs to be. So that is what Alt S is doing on our keyboard. And that is just making sure to that we can move around all our clips in our timeline. Now, of course, if you want to delete something, for example, this middle part, we can just press delete on our keyboard and we can just paste it against each other. Right now it will snap into place and that's how you can actually chop up your video so let's go and move on to this little button at the very top which is the transitions one so that's how you can make these transitions instead of like a regular jump cut so now what we need to do is we need to place these clips into each other i'm just going to zoom into my timeline just a little more so you guys can see what we're doing right here all right so now that we have this menu open how it actually works is right here you want to click on all transitions or different ones or just the one that you're actually liking so if you for example have this one you want to drag it in between or transition or clips rather. So if I play it back, this is what it looks like. So that's a really nice transition that it goes just like that and how you can make these different ones for example this lighter one if you drag it on there you can just replace them real simple by just going for example to a different transition right here drag this guy for example right here on this middle box and it will immediately replace it. That's a really, really cool kind of light leak particle transition. And also the screen blurs a little bit. That's really high end and advanced kind of transition, of course, that you can apply into your videos. But of course, on the very left, we have all kinds of different ones that we can like, we have like wipes and swirls. That's how you can color grade your clips, how you actually cut into your video, how you can like add in cool transitions. But we're not done at all because right here we have a text icon, which is of course allowing us to drag on text, for example, above the preview. So now in order to edit it, you just want to double click on your layer and then you can double click on your preview screen to for example position it for example at the very bottom and on the very top on the right we have our menu where we can type in for example studio footage part one and that's how you can also change up the font if you select everything right now it's on the default but of course we have this drop down menu or you can just move with your cursor on your keyboard or your i mean like your arrow key down and up to choose from the fonts that you want to have and then it looks a little bit different than for example always like these boring standard fonts into your software it's a really handy menu where you can also like resize it and like have spacing between your text you can also choose the, like the opacity if you want to have it like a little bit lower for example right here that you can almost see through it or 
to have like your watermark in text the options are endless guys it's a really handy menu and you just want to double click on your text layer right here to get to that menu and then you can also move on to for example this icon which is of course the audio and which is i'm the most stoked about because of course if it's going to be the best video editor of for example 2021 the video editor has to have for example audio in it and sound effects because let's be honest like vegas pro and like many different other softwares they don't have stock audio that come with the software that you don't have to for example pay for extra of whatever it is or pick it up for like 30 more bucks to get like this plugin if you buy this software it will be in there standardly that's not the case with like vegas pro because you can pay as much as you want you can pay up to hundreds of even thousands of dollars for just a license and you won't have like any sound effects or soundtracks in there so if you go right here of course we have like pop music we have electronic we have light we have cinematic we also have sound effects so let's go ahead and drag one below the timeline and let's see what that sounds like i'm gonna remove the video and let's just listen to the sound itself as you can hear that's some nice camera shutter sound if so if you make a photo but right here you have for example clapping like an audience for example and the options are endless on this menu you have tons and tons of different sound effects we have cinematic songs for example pop music if you drag on this one well it has to download first so it always takes a couple seconds so if you drag that into our timeline this is what it sounds like So as you can hear, that works perfectly for like background music or if you're making a trailer. Right here, we also have this more icon, which is like a fast video where you can choose like all kinds of templates that you can customize if you want to have, for example, like a pre-made video and just want to like animate or like change up like the, the, the standard looks that are in there or the text or basically anything if you don't want to start from complete scratch from your video. And it is that simple, guys. This is how you use the software for the most part and like in not really too much detail or otherwise this video will be like an hour and a half long. So now that you have, of course, finished everything in your video, you want to go to the export button at the very top. You want to pick your resolution that you actually filmed your video in. So if you filmed your video in like 1280 by 720, you want to just pick 720p. You also want to pick your frame rate, which is, of course, like it could be 30 FPS, 50 FPS, 60 FPS. Or if you exported it in, for example, like 1080p, 30 FPS, you always want to render out your video in the same format as you shot the video. So if you shot it in 60 FPS, you don't want to render it out in 30 or the other way around if you filmed it in 30 don't render it out in 60 fps because it's not going to all of a sudden make it 60 fps because of course the settings have to match so guys that's it for this video this is how you use film me a video editor if you want to see a part two of how to like go in depth with editing and all that make sure to let me know down in the comments and this is pretty much the best editor of 2021 all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to use i my phone film me video editor the link is in the description down if you want to check it out these are all the functions it's a really really high-end software that allows you everything to do from making sure to add in text, you know, filters over your videos, music, and exporting it the right way and using cuts and transitions. So if this video went by too fast, make sure to just pause it, rewind it, do it at your own tempo. Thanks a lot for I, my phone, Filmy, video editor for sponsoring this video, and I'll catch you guys, obviously, in the next one.